I'm back with another reading from Negro Myths from the Georgia Coast. This is myth number 18, Brother Monkey and the Bulldog. Everybody except Brother Monkey been full of trouble. On every side, you hear nothing except about trouble. Trouble here, trouble there, trouble everywhere. Brother Monkey tell his wife he wonder what this thing that everybody been talking about and what them all call trouble. He said he can't tell. Then Brother Monkey make up his mind to go to the devil and find out for him. He gone. He catch the devil eating his breakfast and he asked him how come everybody have trouble except for him. And he let the devil know. He say he want to find out what this thing that's been a bothering everybody and what everybody called trouble. The devil tell him to go in the kitchen and wait for him. And when he done with his breakfast, he'll come out and make him sensible about this thing that he called trouble. Brother Monkey go into the kitchen and take one chair and make himself satisfied. I'm not sure what that first part says. He jawed a run water. So he think to himself, the devil go and give him some nice breakfast. He wait there such a long time and no breakfast come. Then the devil come out of the big house and he fetch a bag in his hand. The bag is tied up. He get a bag to Brother Monkey and he tell him, trouble there in this here bag. You carry him till you get in the middle of the big old field and then you open him and you going to find out what you call trouble. The big field been all around the house. Not a tree nor a stump been in that field. Brother Monkey take the bag. It's heavy. He start for home. He told him. He tired before he reached the middle of the field. When he catch the middle of the field, he stop and he unloose the bag. Bless God, out jump one bulldog. And take right after Brother Monkey. He run, he run, he holler, he holler. The dog there right after him to try to bite him. When Brother Monkey get to the wood, he start to climb the first tree he come to. The dog so close behind him, he snap at him and bite off his tail. Brother Monkey left his tail in the dog mouth and gone up the tree. He find one crotch and he sit down to pant and to cry. He's scared, so he tell he scarcely can keep his seat. His tail bleed. The dog sit down under the tree and watch him and wait for him to come down. Brother Monkey feared to come down. Every time that Brother Monkey make mention to come down, the dog show his teeth and growl. Night come and Brother Monkey, him stay up the tree. He find out for true would call trouble. He that tired and sore and scared, he don't know what to do. About the middle of the night, the dog hungry and gone home to eat a little. Brother Monkey slip down the tree and make a track for his house. When he meet his wife and chillin' and show him his tail which bit off and tell him what he been through, them all make a great narration and them all conclude them know enough about trouble and he ain't want to see no more. Bad plan for people to hunt trouble down when trouble ain't hunt them. It's so funny because as soon as Brother Monkey went to the devil talking about he want to find out what trouble is, I was like, mm -hmm, yeah, I bet he got something for your ass because why is you looking for trouble where there ain't none? Like, just be happy you ain't got no trouble, right? And that ended up being the moral of the damn story. And it's funny because this book was written in 18-something originally. Now, I have a reprint. I don't have, like, an original version. But um, that's when it was written. These stories are from hundreds of years before that. They were, you know, telling these stories and passing them down hundreds of years before they got written down. And going into this, I didn't expect to read things that would be applicable to the present day because this story is from like fucking 1600. What do that got to do with 2022? Like, you know, we going through such different things, but really we not though. There's a lot of stuff in this book that is like so applicable to us today.